you are looking at Camp Walmart, perhaps one of the uh, biggest RV parks in, in all the United States, if not the world. And I thought I thought I would just do a quick little video. You see here, uh, here's my rig. I had the oil changed today and they, they washed it for me and they got uh, most of the bugs off the grill. But uh, anyway, I had to stop over here to, uh, to Walmart. Not, I'm not stopping for the night, mind you. I'm not going to stop for the night, but I had to stop here to fix my license plate of all things. My license plate on the trailer. I've been using uh, zip ties. I've been using zip ties to hold that on and I noticed it was hanging, hanging by uh, only one zip tie. So I stopped in here at the uh, at the Walmart and I thought that you know some of you overseas you know might appreciate this more than than others because the uh, folks that live here in the greatest country to ever grace the face of this planet is uh, might might be interested to see how us Americans travel so you know if I wanted to I'm kind of uh, parked wrong there but if I wanted to I could just uh, pull over somewhere in this parking lot and spend the next 20 25 years if I wanted to and you know occasionally go into the Walmart and get myself some some supplies and what have you but uh, interestingly enough you get a mix you get a mix here in in Walmart um, you'll get people that are just passing through you know oftentimes Walmart can be rather convenient you know if you're on a road trip going across the country and you're trying to put miles under your wheels and you just need a place to sleep for the night that's safe and secure with you know lights and security and what have you then uh, then Walmart's not a bad option you see but uh, then you get the people you know like Skip Smith you know well he's Skip Smith's not quite there yet but he will be at some point in time Skip Smith will be traveling around the country and he'll be uh, he'll be just living out of his out of his camper at some point in time he'll sell the house in the villages and he'll uh, start a whole new series on YouTube about life in Walmart parking lots you see so it's always interesting as you're traveling about to see license plates these folks here are from Nevada and uh, you know here's another uh, another camper here and all about you know see there's a uh, there's a guy in a van or a woman in a van or a couple in a van I don't know just over there and here's another uh, now here's another one you know they got the uh, the Jesus bumper sticker going on there amazing grace is the uh, is the name of their of their camper so I haven't quite come up with a name for my camper maybe I should do what Skip Smith did is uh, maybe I they've got the uh, thing going on there it says live laugh and love love often or laugh often love much you can see but uh, with, somebody's posting I I can't really see the comments unfortunately but uh, anyway as you cruise through here you'll see all types of uh, all types of interesting folk myself uh, present present company included I'm sure but uh, anyway so that is uh, that is Camp Walmart. That is Camp uh, Camp Walmart here. If you're uh, ever traveling across America in an RV and you need a place to sleep or uh, you need a place to live, I guess you can just uh, just pull in here to the parking lot and uh, pick up uh, you know pick a space and and off you go. But uh, not, not all Walmarts. Walmart is a national chain here in the United States. And not all Walmarts allow you to stay overnight. I know that out in, uh, I know that out in, um, oh, where is it, uh, California, Northern California, where I used to call home, they had a lot of, a lot of fires and a lot of problems with transients and the uh, Walmart policy was just attracting attracting transients like uh, like you know magnet to steel so to speak or uh, 
you know, flies to, uh, you know what. But uh, anyway, so I got to go on inside and go inside and grab myself a uh, some zip ties, and then I'm headed headed out into the wilderness tonight. I'm not going to sleep in a park, no stinking parking lot tonight. There's the hotel where I stayed for last couple nights right across the street with the uh, LTC who's uh, sitting on a plane right now thinking about uh, thinking about a lot of things I'm sure so time to uh, time to go shopping and uh, I don't even know if I can and now the the people in the parking lot of Walmart's are quite interesting but when you actually go into the high uh, when you actually go into the uh, into the store itself, now the people in the store of Walmart's, that's a whole nother story. And depending on the uh, depending on the place that you're at in the country, is going to depend on what you see on the inside of a uh, on the inside of a Walmart. But somewhere I'm sure they're going to have uh, hardware. I was actually thinking, where is your hardware? back corner thank you so I'm actually thinking of uh, I agree Walmart parking lot is safer than many other places especially who's commenting there especially to park the place closer to the camera all roads lead to Walmart isn't that the truth now I'm thinking about getting one of these here I was at an REI today and I thought about having my my truck rigged with a rack and uh, I called I got some t-shirts from Walmart made in Vietnam. Okay. So I called uh I called my uh my 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 lovely friend who may uh who may join me for a excursion up to British Columbia and I said, Would you rather kayak with the uh would you rather kayak with the orcas or canoe with the orcas? And she said, I don't know if I want to kayak or canoe with the orcas. Aren't those killer whales? And I said, yeah, they're killer whales, but, but they don't kill people. And she said, are you sure? And I said, absolutely, they don't kill people. Killer whales, they like, they like, uh, oh, now I need to get one of these for my camper. Look at this. I'm going to get, what should I get? A Route 66? Yeah, maybe I should get a Route 66 for the back of my, back of my trailer. I don't have one of those. But as I was telling her, I said, killer whales, they kill whales, they kill sharks, that kind of stuff. And she said, they don't kill people? And I said, no, they don't kill people. And she said, are you sure? And I said, absolutely. And she said, why, why don't they kill people? I said, because people feed them fish. I said, didn't you ever go to SeaWorld? Didn't you ever go to SeaWorld and you see, you know, the, 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 the whale that comes up and it wags its tail? and it splashes the crowd, and then they feed it fish. She said, yeah, I've seen that before. And I said, well, then you don't have to worry. I said, we'll take, we'll take some sardines with us. We'll pack some sardines, and we'll put some sardines in the kayak or the canoe, whichever you choose. And, uh, and we'll, we'll just feed the, feed, feed the killer whales. And then we don't have to worry about, the, uh, about being lunch, so. Anyway, on with the uh, on with the show. One accidentally killed this trainer. I saw that. It grabbed it by the grab it grabbed it by the hair. You know, you always go by the camping section and you just can't resist. You see little things for camping and you're like, "Oh, how cute. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute." Now here's a camp stove toaster. There you go. Now actually, you know what? I could probably use one of those. That would go right over my little propane stove. Very interesting. When I don't have electricity, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try one of these. It's only $4.97. Now here you go. $3.27 will get you a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. That looks good. All right. So on with the show. You know what's interesting being uh, traveling solo now? You know, no, uh, no LTC to boss me around, and I don't have to, uh, I don't have to find a uh, place to get an espresso every morning. You know, when I was traveling with the LTC, 
every morning it was, you know, we got to find an espresso. Got to go out of the way, sometimes miles, to find her a stinking espresso. But uh, no more of that stuff anymore. Okay, so hardware has got to be somewhere around here. And I need a zip tie. It's interesting how I can make just a simple walk through Walmart interesting enough for 10 people to tune in and, and watch my video. So, somewhere around here, somewhere around here will be zip ties. I just know it. No? Okay. All right, folks. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to actually implement a new policy on my YouTube channel where I'm going to announce a... Uh, a new policy I don't know if I'll implement it tomorrow but uh, but I will be uh, I will be uh, announcing it tomorrow okay I just don't know where the uh, oh here's some RV stuff look at this utility trailer track levels now that's not a bad idea maybe I should grab one of those how about an odor genie that might be nice. That's might might be what I need if my friend joins me for the uh, British Columbia leg of the uh, of the trip. Is the older genie, you know? She's just not the RV type. You know, she's just not the RV type. But uh, she's more the um, oh I don't know what she she's more the uh, Ritz Carlton type maybe something like that. She is a. Uh, She's a first-class lady in every sense of the word. So, okay. I just don't know where these uh, where these little connectors are. So I'm not going to bore you with my uh, endless wandering and babbling as I walk through the uh, walk through the aisles here. So everybody have a uh, have a great day. Unless somebody's here in the in the paint department. Nope, nobody's in the paint department. You know, I really gotta gotta I really gotta give a shout out to the city of Flagstaff. It's been I don't know how long that uh, I've actually gone through a gone through a city such as I have here in Flagstaff, and just been really really overwhelmed with the hospitality and the friendliness of the of the people. Very very. I hear somebody. Do you know where I would find fasteners? You know, like zip ties. Oh, yeah, they're going to be over here somewhere. You do? You know where they are at? Okay, thank you, Dana. Oops, sorry. H23. H23? Aren't computers great? Yeah. You're on Tom TV. <laughs> Give a shout out to Skip Smith in the villages. Say, hey, Skip Smith. Hey, Skip Smith. Yeah, if you're passing through Flagstaff, Arizona, come and see me. And say zip ties are in aisle H23. Zip ties are in aisle H23. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Skip Smith is this grumpy, grumpy old, you know, unhappy guy who sits in his man cave all day. He thinks it's a man cave. You know what a man cave is? Yeah. Yeah. So Skip Smith, Skip Smith thinks he's not a man cave. Actually, it's a room that his wife yes, just sir. let him. You can't have any video recording. No video? No. Okay. We can't have you doing that at all. All right. I'll turn it off. Okay, folks. I got to go. So take